Hey, what's up? What's up guys, today is day 17 of New You 17. Today, my workout is going to be, I'm going to first start from the cardio, I'm going to be doing for 30 minutes, splitting it between 15 minutes each. I'm going to have 15 minutes of incline walks, speed around about 10, incline around about 7. Then after that, I'm going to be doing intervals. On my intervals, I'm going to be... One minute is going to be a jog, 30 seconds is going to be a sprint, but the sprint, I'm going to maybe push the sprint all the way up to like 14, maybe 16, see where I feel, but nothing less than 14, I'm here to push myself. So, after that, I'm going to move on to doing my burpees challenge. So, as you know, this challenge is all about me getting to that 30 burpees under a minute. So, I'm going to try and see where I'm at today. Last time I got to about 20, so I'm going to see if I can push that to 25, maybe 28. Bit, you know, I'm a bit pushing it there, but let's see what happens. Let's see. You never know. Outside of that, my nutrition today is going to be my usual. It's going to be starting off with tuna, eggs, and salad for breakfast. And then just before I work out, hey, listen up, guys, because this is a nice little hack. Just before I work out, I'm going to be mixing my almonds, almonds milk, and my protein together for my bowl of cereal. That's just going to give me all the carbs that I need to go out there and have an explosive workout. So, if you're about that protein shake, if you like having protein shakes and you like almond milk, hey, give it a try and tell me what you think. Is it a good mix? Was it worthwhile? Let me know. Anyway, that's what's going to be my day. Guys, stay tuned. It's going to, there's going to be a lot that you can learn from. But if you're a bit busy today and you're not going to work out, just make sure that you're doing something that's going to expose your full potential. All right, guys. Have a good day. Hey, how you doing, peeps? I hope today you've done something that's took you one step closer to your goals, even if it's just something, something small, but you've done something. I hope you have. If you haven't, don't beat yourself up tomorrow. Tomorrow you can do that and you can, you know, find something, find something to do, but try, try and do something every day. My day today was, was, uh, I didn't manage to do as much training as I wanted to. It's something that's really starting to get under my skin. I'm finding that I'm not, you know, I've got my plan, but then time is just getting on well ahead of me. And by the time I know it, after that, I'm going to start training people, or I'll, you know, I'll have something will happen that I won't be able to get my full two hours of training, which is a, it's kind of tough. Sometimes I can't even get my full one hour. It's kind of tough. I blame myself, you know, bit of time management. But, you know, it's one of those things. It's one of those things that I need to really home in on getting better at being on time, being present. I still make sure that every day I make sure I do something. I don't let, allow that to be an excuse, even if it's just 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I try and make sure I do something. But, you know, at the stage that I'm at, sometimes those 20 minutes, it's not effective enough. I need to be in there doing a good one hour, one hour and a half session. So that's something that's um, kind of under my skin that I need to deal with, time management. Um, if anybody has any tips out there, you know, good time management tips, feel free to leave me some comments down below in the comment box or email, whichever. Just, you know, if you have any tips, I'm more than willing to try them out. So send them in. Exercise-wise today, I did uh, the cardio, like I said. I started on the incline, and then I moved on to the high-intensity stuff. Because I was on such a short time today, I wasn't able to record it. It would have been, if I just started recording, got the tripod out and stuff, it would have just entered the time that I really didn't have, so... You know, I wasn't able to record it. I did manage to record the burpees, though, which I'll be showing you at the end. I'll let you. I'll leave you to guess how much I got this time. There's still a bit of work to do. One thing I've noticed that when I'm doing these burpees, I'm doing it after my leg day. So after doing those squats and so on and so forth. Yesterday, I'm going to go and then go and do burpees. So you can imagine how my legs feel like two big iron 
plates you know they really really feel sore and i'm trying to jump up and down and you know so i would i know for sure the day that i go and do the fray or the day that i aim to do the fray but i think you know i think i've got that pushing me to get to that fray but the day that i go for that fray i really think that i'm gonna make sure i don't do no legs no legs work out for the the week before the few days before let my legs be well recovered because i definitely see that as a big hindrance you just as you're jumping your legs feel like psh, they just feel so heavy and then when you're squatting down the impact they're already burning they're already suffering from dumb so yeah it's something that i'm going to make sure i do but it's good though it's good to have these little trial runs because it learns, you know, you, I mean, you learn, you learn from what, you know, what you should avoid for next time. I remember when I was preparing for my men's physique competition, and I wasn't able to do this, but people were saying that you should do it prior to hand, is they have this week called uh, peak week, where you try, where you basically try to, at the end of the week, be in your best shape. So have your muscles looking full, having them looking, looking really toned, really lean, but not in a, not in a, in a soft way. It's hard to explain what soft means, but not, it, you want it to be like really pumped, looking like they're full of, full of energy, basically. That's the best way I'll describe it. Having your body look like they're full of energy, having them look really, really good. Now, when I got to that week, I started to do my research on how to approach that week and stuff and they were saying yeah just before your peak week you know give it give these ways a try so don't eat this stuff and eat this stuff and blah 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 and train this way but they were saying that you should do it before your actual competition but here was me this is my first time i didn't have no coach i just went by myself and just you know went for it i'm reading this at the beginning of peak week and they're telling me I should have done stuff beforehand but to, like I should have practiced this week beforehand and I'm thinking what but that's why it's good whenever you have a goal or whenever there's something you want to achieve always pr practice run it before the time practice 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 each practice makes you learn that little bit more you'll pick up something from this time and then another thing from that time that you'll be able to use for the grand finale so yeah um so that's my thing don't do no leg workouts even though i might even try and you know have a little bit of rest because i'm serious when i set a goal i want to make sure i get it so if i need to take one two days off to make sure i hit that goal I will. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I'm not going to all of a sudden lose all those gains for two days. No, come on. This doesn't happen. Some people say, oh, I haven't been to gym for two days. I feel, you know, I'm going crazy. If that happens to you, and that honestly happens to you, I don't know what to say. I, I don't say, but personally, I think that's a bit extreme. Two days, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to lose any gains. And if anything, you're doing your body good. You're allowing your mu muscles and your blood system to have a time to relax and flush out all the bad toxins and whatnot. So, yeah, that was, you know, that was my training side of things. Nutrition. My nutrition today was good. It was nice and clean. Like I said, I hope you guys tried or will be trying the almond and protein mixture. So basically, I have a bowl of cereal before I train, like you've seen in my previous videos. But what I do, the almond milk, I mix that in with uh, my protein. So I'm having protein shake has my milk for my cereal. So guys, give that a try, you know, it's a great way of getting the protein in and also getting your carbs in, fueling you for your workout. Give it a try, tell me what you think. You can change the ingredients. Maybe I have banana and strawberries in mine, in my cereal. You can maybe go for something else. Blackberry sometimes I have with bananas. It's up to you, but give it a try. Let me know what you come up with. If you come up with anything wacky, the wackier the better. As long as it's not full of sugars and so on and so forth. But I'm sure you should know that by now. But yeah, um, that was my my that, that was my nutrition for dinner. I had like a wrap, a chicken wrap, avocados, peppers, which was really nice and tasty. Um, right about now, dinner is really, really getting like... <sighs> that was like a different thing from what I usually have. Dinner is really getting like, not a chore, but... 
You know, sometimes you want those flavors, especially when you're smelling flavors getting cooked and you know you're just going to have veg. So I decided to have a meal that's meant to be earlier on, earlier, a bit earlier. I meant to have it a bit earlier in the day. I decided to have it for dinner. But it's okay. It's okay. The scales and everything is looking fine at the moment. So I have a little bit of leeway. Um, and yeah, that was that was it for, for my day, actually. So I did the cardio. Then I did the burpees. I wasn't able to do the high-intensity circuit, which, as I said, it's kind of something that I need to personally deal with, getting that time management on point. But tomorrow's a new day. Um, like I always say, tomorrow's a new day. There's another day to try and go at it. As I said, these are not excuses. I still make sure I train. Even though I'm still battling with time management, I still make sure I train. So that's all good. That's all good. You know, making sure I'm doing one thing. Even if it's just something small. Even if it's just 20 minutes of working out, I make sure I do one thing that's going to lead me to my goals every day. So I'm happy. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I just know I'm not a finished product. I still need to do something to do with my time management. But yeah, so guys, I'm about to log out now. It's the end of my day. Um, and yeah, if there's anything you want to know about my almond protein mix, give me a, you know, leave your comments. If there's anything you want to know about training or anything, leave your comments. But please, what's more important though, what I would love to see is somebody else taking on this challenge and giving it a try, jumping on. If it's a video, if you can record yourself doing the training, great. If you can't and you just want to like, do something every day, that's fine. That's fine. Just let us know. Just let me or you have know that this is what you're doing. Or just leave it in one of the comments on our videos. Let us know and we will be there to support you. I support Ehab, Ehab supports me. You know, and we want to support the rest of the world if we can. So guys, please, please, please try doing something, even if something small, that's going to lead to your goals every single day. Expose your full potential. All right, guys, take care and I'll catch you tomorrow.